All right, welcome back to Cave Story Plus. In this recording session, I'm going to be working on getting out of the labyrinth, I assume. Because misery sent us down here and it's not very nice. There's a robot here with a broken leg. And I think a dead robot here. Yep, a dead robot there. A save point up there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, this nice little robot here told us... You're thrown down here by the witch Misery too. Poor little gal. Yeah, the island's drunk is stored here. I want to leave and never get out. Now, someone said, I believe... Ah, the switch for this door is supposed to be all the way up top. But the footing's real bad, so it's a jumping puzzle parkour area, basically. So basically, we've got to get up there. Now, the blade is actually really nice in this area. Because it's accurate enough that you can just destroy things with that, and it's powerful enough as well. So I'm going to be primarily using the blade here, I think. Okay, now how do I want to do this? Yeah, like that. Because then, because the bubble has some sort of wavy properties. Yeah. yeah. Now I want to get all the experience I can. Oh, oh, oh yeah, they shoot projectiles. I forgot about that bit. I do, actually do not, do not remember this area all that well. I have to be honest. So I could be in trouble here, <laughs> frankly. Now I do apologize for gathering all of this experience, but I do want to level this thing up as soon as possible, because it's very nice at level 3, I think. A lot of people prefer it at level 2, as I said in a previous video, but personally, I'm a level 3 person. It's just, it just feels nicer. Yeah. I'm not going to go down for all of it, as a matter of fact, that's just annoying. Okay, and time it. Oh no. It's not too far off level 2 anyway. So basically here I'm just trying to get to the top without falling down. That's basically it. Yeah. Oh, there's a heart capsule here. A life capsule, sorry. I did not notice that. Max life increased by 5, yes indeed. Now this is after the Spelunky video that I recorded the other day. I'm recording this using Adobe Audition. I've got a bit of a fright there. But yeah, I'm recording this using Adobe Bums... Adobe Bums. Yeah, the audio for this is... Oh, crumbs. Dark. Yeah, recording the uh, audio with Adobe Audition. And of course the video is with Fraps. I'm going to look into alternatives to Fraps because that locking at 30 FPS thing might be a Fraps issue, but I don't think so. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to be looking into alternatives anyway. I believe this is reminiscent of a, of a Mario area in one of the Mario games. I'm not sure which one, because I don't play Mario, but still. And there's a computer here. Do you want to open the door? Yes, I do. Open sesame! I don't know what I was trying to accomplish there. Now, I'm going to see if there's anything to the right, anything secretive, because we didn't get over there. No, it doesn't seem to be anything secretive, so let's get out of here. First of all, I'm going to save, of course. Oh, and those robots left. That's good. And this robot, of course, is dead, so it stayed very well there. Let's get out. Labyrinth H. Now, there's a dead robot here. The mangled remains of a robot. Now, there are weird cockroach things there. On level 2, I think people prefer this because it's technically got a higher DPS, because it's got a higher refire rate. But, I don't know, I still like level 2. Oh, jump up there to get past that. That's how you do it. And jump up here, and do not get crushed, or you will, of course, die. Let's get through this door. Oh, the music here, yes! Yeah, now, I don't recall any secrets in this area, apart from one. I'm not entirely sure how you get that, so I'm gonna have maybe have to think about things very carefully. Yeah, I'm actually really liking the blade. Do, 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 do. Oh, I do love this music. <laughs> oh frick! Um, how am I gonna? Yeah, so those things die fairly easily, actually. 
are now... Oh, I thought it was level two. Level three, sorry. I'm gonna go into this door here. In case there's anything here... Oh, you. Gah, I want to eat Mamiga. What's that scent? I faintly smell Mami Mamiga on you. Yeah, you do smell Mamiga, but I am not a Mamiga, so don't try to eat me, please. What are you? It was ages ago. A witch lived alone in solitude here on this island. That witch would ultimately use her magic to create this labyrinth and confine us. Get us Gaudi within. Gaudi or Gordy? I'm gonna call them Gordy because they're a very gaudy colour. Nah, <laughs> I'm funny. Who are you? A way out of the labyrinth does exist. However, the path leading to the exit is obstructed by a single boulder. I'm not even sure if the exit can be reached after moving the massive piece of rock. Well, that's not very good. Who are you? Hello, kind patron. This is the Labyrinth Shop. Unfortunately, a burglar broke in recently and took everything. So I don't have anything to sell you. Well, that sucks. What's that? You've got something nice there. That's a polar star and a fireball. May I please have a look? No, you may not. That will get you the nemesis, I believe. And we need the polar star for something wonderful later, so... Uh, I wish I could get up to the save point here. In fact, I think I can. Oh yeah, I can! So you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna save here. Yes, and I'm, I'm gonna make that trade and show you the nemesis. Hello, kind patron. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you do. You're gonna give me the nemesis. I, I do have something nice. I have to pull this out of fireball. You can have a look. You give the polar star. You give the fireball. Mm. Snake is complete. Oh, snake, not nemesis. What, what was I thinking? Basically, we've lost the polar star and the fireball. And we've got this. It goes through solid projectiles like the Kuro Blaster and Kero Blaster. I'm going to show off some combat with this and then I'm going to come back and load that save because I do not want to keep this gun. As much as it's kind of not bad, the thing we get for the Polar Star later is not... It's, it's just something you do not consider not getting. Yeah, see, now it's a mixture. Now this doesn't go through... Oh, this does get still go through solid project, solid surfaces. It's sort of a mixture of the polar star and the and the fireball, and it's it's very good, but it's not good enough, unfortunately. So I'm going to level this up to level three to show it off to you. And then I'm going to go back and load that save so that so that we don't lose out on the potential future secret weapon. Because frankly, that secret weapon is delicious. Kill these suckers. This should get us to level three. And level three is basically... It's friggin' excellent. But unfortunately, we don't want it. So we want to die right now. We're just gonna let ourselves be killed here. Come on, kill me, please. But yeah, the snake is a very good weapon, but it's just not good enough, unfortunately. This is going to take a long time. Come on, just kill me. Yeah. You have died. Yes, I do want to retry. All right, so we're back here with the polar star, which, frankly, we want to keep. So sorry, shopkeeper, but I need my polar star. Now, the... the Blade is a very good weapon. You'll hopefully get us a level 3 of it soon as well. Because I do personally like level 3. It gives you a bit more leniency with being accurate. There it is. It's got a sort of area of effect attack. And any enemies you get caught in sort of the area... Well, it's hard to explain. Like... See the big varying slashes? Any enemies that get caught in that will sort of get kind of stunned and attacked a bit. So it does have a lower DPS. I'm aware of that, but I do like it for ease. And you'll notice it's Firing King. Because, of course, his spirit is in this weapon or something. Yeah, it's a very good weapon. I like it a lot. Yeah, you see, excellent. Now, while the refire rate is very low, 
this level, I believe. Oh yeah, and it levels down almost instantly, I think. Yeah, it levels down to level 2 almost instantly, so it's kind of... You only get level 3 for short bursts, I think. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Now, let's get in this door here. Ooh, look! Look who it is! I will save here indeed. And in the next video, we will talk to that guy there. And those funny little frog people. <gasps> it's like, it's, it's Carol Blaster guy. Yeah. But anyway, we will speak to those people in the next video. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for now. I will see you in the next one.